World of Bob and go back to uh, May the 15th, 1984 at Football Park in South Australia. This, in fact, was the first state game under lights. At three-quarter time, South Australia was 12-5-77. Victoria was 13-7-85. There was a crowd of 52,719 there. It was a sellout and some 15,000 people had been locked out. We pick up the play now with some 11 and a half minutes gone into the final quarter. South Australia leads, but only by one point. South Australia by one point. Redden has to go against Tuck. The big fellow's got it. Redden and Johnson. Johnson at the bottom of the pack. A free kick, Victoria. Wayne Johnson, who's been swung onto the ball to kick the Vicks into attack. Big Salmon on the lead now, going towards that player out in front of Parker. Salmon can't bring it down. Filky taps it cleverly. Anderson gets the kick away back towards Leslie. Leslie can't pick it up. Salmon cleverly. Gary Wilson hooks across. Coming in South Australia now. Is Naley Platten it is. Watch him go. Bradley, a long one up. Kernahan at the back of the pack. Oh, what a mark. A poor James couldn't see the little effective push. Kernahan has marked the ball. 30 metres out right in front. Have a look at this. Kernahan stood his ground beautifully. Tenth mark. Ninth mark. Tenth kick. Kernahan from 20 metres. Right in front. That's it. Kernahan's ninth goal. Unbelievable performance by the youngster. 15 8 to 14 7, and just listen to the crowd go mad. South Australia playing better now than they ever have this evening. Gary Wilson's kick, not good. South Australia have got a bit more run. Bradley is a little star. Put it up for Kernahan. How good is he? At the centre bounce now, and the 50,000 plus roaring their head off. Redden against Madden. Redden tap away. Naley gets the set. Watch him go. Long handball up towards Platten. Platten will need backup support. Gives it back now to Dwayne Russell. Has a flying shot. High, wide, and handsome, and that's out of play on the full. Gee, Dwayne Russell, I think he was aiming for the golf course on that occasion. Nearly found it, too. Neil Curley's in there somewhere. Would be a very concerned gentleman at the moment. So would Alan Jeans. No mark. McIntosh, the handball comes out. Well smothered by Tuck. Tuck is caught. A high tackle. Well, Laurie Argent was pretty close to the action. Michael Tuck's got the free kick. Played reasonably well for the Vicks. This will be his 14th kick. Peter Moore, Greg Phillips, or oh, Victorian player pushed out. Umpire James says, play it on, boys. Phillips down. Dacos pushed over. Haven't seen Dacos for a while. The Phillips handball runs out of bounds. Dacos hurt his knee in that second quarter, Peter, or third quarter. Hasn't been the same player since. Yes, Ian, you're correct. I recall it now. South Australia leading by seven points. In front, Redden used the body. Umpire James said illegally. Madden plays it on with the big left foot. Out comes Salmon. In front is Phillips. Oh, he's been paid. Didn't have a lot of it. Well, that was a mark, Peter. The crowd don't like it. Well, we'll have a look at it in replay. I don't think he had a great deal of it. Yes, he did. He had enough of it. It's great to be able to see things twice here, isn't it? <laughs> the umpires haven't got that advantage. Kick number nine for big Paul Salmon. He's kicked 4-2. Oh, he ran in close to the man on the mark. Very close to a big score. It has just snuck through. Five goals, Paul Salmon. And the Victorians jump back. 15-7 to South Australia, 15-8. Oh, just a link go! I tip this. Oh. Tuesday, could Wayne be guilty of corruption? It's a gap of about 15 minutes. All the evidence says he is. They told me that he drove straight back. And PJ screws up a surveillance job. We had her safe and we lost it again. Blue Heelers, 7.30 Tuesday on 7. I don't like reggae. Hey, man, if you dig reggae, you're going to love reggae rave. I love it. Love Nouveau. We are not strong. Bob Marley. 
Musical youth. The legendary Jimmy Cliff. Toots and the Maytels as what? Third World. Desmond Decker. 28 hits. Reggae rave. It's the coolest man out now. I'm having a party for all of my friends. <laughs> Be a small party. Let's see. The 1995 family value feast with a black forest cake. A what? A black forest cake. And a whole tender roast, large chips, wedges, coleslaw, potato and gravy and four rolls. Oh, can I come? All this for under 20 bucks. Redmond! Hello, Mum. So much food. So little money. More cake, Wilbur? Suzuki Swift, Australia's most fuel-efficient car and one of its most reliable, now introduces Chino, a Swift new three-door and a spacious and sporty five-door. So if you're looking for a car that's well-made, well-priced and amazingly cheap to run, take a look at Swift from $12,990 at your Suzuki dealer now. Delights of Asia with Harvey World Travel and Qantas Jet About Holidays Asian Blend. Flying with Qantas, you'll spend three nights in fabulous Hong Kong, three nights in vibrant Bangkok, then three more nights in Singapore. We give you tours of each city, all transfers, a late checkout, a travel bag and more. From $1,899, now's the time to see Asia in style. Book now at Harvey World Travel. I'm supposed to joyfully try these new Vicks Vapor Drops with butter and menthol and believe that something that tastes delicious can actually work. Oh, hey, they're paying me. I can be convincing. Hmm. See? Nothing. Hey, these delicious Vicks Vapor Drops with butter and menthol really do soothe the throat and clear the nose. I mean, it won't happen in a second, but it will happen. Chic FX has a unique flexible head. Its twin blades and special lubricating strip can flex and curve to the exact contours of your face. So compared to other razors, Chic FX puts more of the blade edge to your skin. Chic FX, changing the face of shaving. Alf's on the warpath. I've got a date with destiny. And he's not taking any prisoners. Sit back and let the world go by. And Nick's peaceful round of golf turns into a recipe for disaster when Home and Away continues Monday on 7. We're past the halfway mark of the last quarter. Mick Redden up very high. Dwayne Russell, strong as they come. Neil Craig ran past the ball. Cunningham, Buckley, here's a go for Victoria. Wayne Johnson, the little dominator, takes off. Kicks long into the teeth of goal. Just touched, in fact, by Filky, who made great ground. And the score's once again level here at Football Park. What a game of football. Almost 16 minutes into the final quarter. Parker to boot South Australia back into attack, or back into play. Phillips behind, and the umpire has seen a free kick there, going to Victoria. Gerard Healy, Salmon on the lead. In there is Parker, White getting back as well. Good mark, Victoria. Well taken, Peter Dacos. He used his experience to edge the South Australian underneath the ball, and the Vicks have got a chance now to take the lead. Dacos, kick number 12. Well, oh, that's a shocker going right across the face of goal. And Phillips lets it go out of play in the penalty free kick. Redden off, Johnson off. Redden appears to have an, an injured knee. Johnston making ground now. The play on was to Phillips. Phillips puts it very wide. Anderson in front. Motley breaks through. Back towards Anderson, but Gerard Healy intercepted. Players everywhere at the moment. The handball comes out. Looking for Bernie Evans. Wayne Johnson getting kicks now. Dummies beautifully. Clever footballer. The kick on the way. It's going to bounce just outside the square. Hits the umpire and Victoria now have hit the front. 15-9, South Australia 15-8. Well, there's players with some socks down now, Peter, but gee, so they ought to. The pace has been unbelievable. A long kick by Parker. 
Johnson thumped away back towards the half forward line. Dacos holding the ball. Robin White, one of the best tacklers in South Australian football, has Motley clear, a little bit slow, getting it away to that player. Looking for it, close to the line. Right there with him is Cunningham. Motley gets the ball away, but too slow, holding the ball. Fine tackle by Jeff Cunningham, and he's got it on the half-back line. Cunningham, not a lot of movement now. Off goes Moore, but Cunningham ducks back, goes out of way. It's Madden. Johnson underneath the ball, edged underneath the ball by Madden, and Big Johnson has got the free kick. Oh, Phillips, here's trouble. That's an awful mistake. Hawkins, short, going quickly in to get the ball now is Evans, and he's got it 30 metres out. The second time South Australia has made a mistake going for the short kick across goals, intercepted by Victoria once in the third quarter, and now Bernie Evans has got a chance to kick Victoria two kicks clear. 30 metres out, not a good looking kick, I think it's just off line, lucky for South Australia, not a good kick by Evans, Victoria by two points. Well there have been 30 goals kicked tonight and only 18 points, so uh, that indicates the players have kicked well, but in fact there have been a lot of easy goals mi missed. Peter Moore's played a great game for the Vicks, Martin Leslie then should have knocked away. It's easy to say, pretty hard to do though against a man like Peter Moore. Decides to go out very wide. He's found a player, but that's very indirect. Wayne Johnson picking up kicks at will in this last quarter. He's had five so far this quarter. 18 for the match. He's a top little player. Kick to goal in the second quarter. Carlton captain. Taking a lot of time. Oh, he kicked into the man on the mark. That'll be play on. Oh, bad bounce, Max Parker. Salmon got the kick away. In comes Bernie Evans. He's been paid. Didn't go a long way, the ball, but the umpire must have got his tape measure out to measure that one. Bernie Evans has the chance now for Victoria. They lead by two points. Evans shouldn't miss from there, and he doesn't. It's just snuck through his first goal. Victoria 16-10, South Australia 15-8. Yes, the fresh legs got there first. Johnson's kick-in wasn't a good one at all. But the South Australian defenders led in the race to the ball initially. But the pace of Evans, not a good kick by Salmon. South Australia off to a start, but look at Evans's pace. The fresh legs got there first. Victoria now by eight points. South Australia now have the job in front of them. Russell Johnston against Salmon. Not Salmon, Madden. What a great job he's done. Bradley, still got plenty of movement in those legs. Out comes Dwayne Russell, up he goes, far too early. Jimmy Jess smashed away. The South Australia, though, clearing on that occasion was Snee Bickler. With the run of the ball, Anderson, and also Doug Hawkins. And he is covering a lot of ground, Doug Hawkins. He also kicked two goals, he's been a valuable player. Left half forward flank for South Australia. Kernahan, number 16, Madden, 23 for Victoria. Madden got it down beautifully towards Buckley. Buckley fell over. The tackle's applied. Platten with hair flowing. He's been a little tiger for South Australia this evening. And uh, we see another bounce down. Left half forward flank. Kernahan in there. Also Madden. Out of bounds again. And we'll see a ball in. Half forward left flank. Inside the half forward line. South Australia down by eight points. The moment of truth for the home side, Kernahan and Madden at the back waiting for it. Russell in there, Boss had an airy, got another kick away. Bradley with the pace, right there with him is Hawkins, close to the line. And uh, the ball has gone out of play once more. On the full, or is it going, yes, on the full. And the penalty free kick, Ackerley gives it back to a teammate. And it'll be Mark Boss from half-back flank. A long one towards centre wing. Madden up, can't bring it down. Tuck off the fingers to the half forward line. Wilson oh, at the back of the pack. Oh, Victoria, watch Dacos bolt now. Heads to the open guy. I think he's missed it. Oh, an incredible miss from one of the most skillful footballers in Australia. No pressure on him at all. And South Australian fans breathe a sigh of relief. Gee, the Victorians are making the more similar mistakes to those made by South Australia in the third quarter. In fact, there's a bit of a northerly breeze blowing at the moment to the end which, to which South Australia is kicking. Platten was tackled, he didn't have the ball. 
No doubt about Glenn James. When he sees them, he pays them. Motley, a lot of pace. Doug Hawkins got plenty too. He had the ball, then dropped it. Holding the man. Depends which way you see them, doesn't it? Doug Hawkins. Short. In a space there, taking the mark for Victoria is uh, John Kennedy. Been off and on a few times tonight. 15 metres as well. Kennedy will take advantage of that when he goes short. Gerard Healy, socks down. He knows how to kick a goal. Lines him up from a long way out. Robin White just collided with the post. Think of better things to collide with. Victoria, 16. Have a look at that. Bang. Perfect shirt front, Peter. Thank you very much. Post didn't move. Parker, a long kick back now towards Phillips. More there as well. Madden, two. Second grab. More can't get it out. He can now. Tuck under pressure. Madden again. Play on is the call. Beautifully read, however, by McIntosh. The long one goes over now to Steve Bickler. Not a good kick. Coming across quickly is Victoria's, that would be, boss. He finds Evans. Evans short. Or oh, bad bounce went against Buckley. In there again. He's hanging on to it a long time, but he got the kick away finally. Madden searching for it. Scoops it out. Charts Evans. A bad bounce goes against him. Platten back. Evans well done to Johnson. Platten fighting like a terrier in for the football. And the umpire will come in and bounce inside Victoria's half forward line. There he is, the little terrier. He did a lot of hard work then against uh, Wayne Johnston and Bernie Evans. Beat both of them in the sense that he didn't let either player take control of the ball. 108, plays 98, 10 points in it. Down it comes, Robin McKinnon. Platten again, he's got the run of it. Steve Bickler wants it at centre half forward. He's in front, the big punch away. Steve Bickler keeps the ball in front of him. Mark Boss also. We see it out of bounds now. Right half forward flank for South Australia. Kernahan comes way down for the ruck work, leaving Roberts in the square. Kernahan with nine goals. Has been a superstar this evening. Looks like Healy covering a lot of ground. He might be playing on the ball. I think he's had the occasional run. And now we'll see Grantley Filky take the, the free kick. Into time on of the final quarter. Time running out for South Australia now. Almost two goals down up towards the half forward line. Coming in Ackerley. Kicks it out into no man's land. Going after it now. Will be Hawkins or the bounce. Wasn't for him. Chance South Australia. Anderson can't find the football. Quickly now through all South Australian player. Grab with the ball in Bradley. And umpire Argent will come in, and if the players can get up off the ball, gee, do you think there's some tied players out there now? Gary Perth, the Victorian player, the bounce inside the South Australian half forward line, desperately needing a goal now. Madden gets the tap away, can't find a teammate. Wayne Russell in there, stacks on the mill again, and the umpire will come in for another bounce. Ten points in it. South Australia going to the golf course end of football park with the aid of a slight breeze. I guess all players out there very tight. Kernahan up early. Bernie Evans got fresh legs. So has Jimmy Jess. He goes short on the outer side of the ground. Peter Moore completely missed it. Greg Phillips kicks it back with the left boot. Russell underneath the ball with a fine diving mark taken out there by David Ackley. He elects to play it on. Victoria now running out through Bernie Evans. Back towards centre half back. The pack forms. Jimmy Buckley ran it beautifully. He gets the kick into full forward. Max Parker will mark that ball. He'll play it on as well. Motley, South Australia still running. The kick away, not a good one though. Bernie Evans again, getting a lot of touches. Not a good kick away though, and Grantley Filkey marks it. Centre half back, two goals clear, Victoria. 15 metres. South Australia won a goal and won it quick. Going well now is Motley. Craig has got the football. Ten points the difference, two straight kicks. Craig on the lead now is Kernahan. Good mark. The time's ticking away, though. Kernahan, 35 metres out. 11th mark. 11th kick coming up. Has kicked nine. Heads towards the golf course end. Going for his 10th goal. Ball coming back with boot goal. 10 goal, Stephen Kernahan. Oh, what a performance. And South Australia, one straight kick down. Ten goals, one, Stephen Kernahan. 
I can recall back in 1973, Alex Jezelenko kicking 10 goals, one for Victoria. What a great performance, Kernahan. He's been the star of the night. There's the mark, and he kicked the goal. South Australia still in with a chance. Oh, what a finish. Madden against Johnson. Line ball out towards centre wing. Going through quickly now, Anderson. Up the wall, full forward. First three cover will be Roberts. Can't get it out, Ackley can. In goes Victoria's Healy. And the umpire will come in and bounce the ball inside South Australia's half forward line. Time ticking away, over three minutes of time on. Could be into the last minute. The next scoring shot could be the last. A bounce ball. Tap away. Wayne Russell tries to get through. Tuck can. High back up towards Johnson. Fine mark. McIntosh. Phillips on the lead. Kernahan. William is new. Can't get it back. Quickly in for Victoria is Hawkins. Hawkins clears it for Victoria. Desperate they are. Wayne Johnson is caught. Cole. Up by James. And that's holding the ball. South Australia still a chance, trailing by four points. Anderson will have to hurry the kick, that could, there must only be seconds left. A huge kick, Anderson. Curly head under the ball, he couldn't mark it. Play on, says umpire James. The pack forms and we'll see a bounce. 15 metres from the South Australian goal. What an amazing finish. Can Kernahan kick 11? Can any South Australian player score? Kernahan knocked it over the top. Michael Tuck, he's played a great last quarter. Puts it out to Wayne Johnson, and what a quarter of football he's played. Johnson will slow the play down. Time is on Victoria's side. 19 kicks, Johnson a long one towards centre wing. Working for it is Phillips and Moore. Moore comes out with it. Victoria going to attack. Up towards the half forward line. Wilson and Motley. Motley comes away with the ball. Quickly in Cunningham, the bounce will decide. McKinnon, Leslie over the top. The ball in Victoria's attacking area. Time running out, 29 minutes gone. South Australia down by four. What a game of football. Crowd silent when Victoria attack. Moore, Johnson, breaking his way through for Victoria. Smothered off the boot. Stacks on the mill. Another bounce down by umpire Argent. Well, we're past the 29 minute mark. South Australia four points down. It's been a top game of football. A big crowd in excess of 50,000 people have loved every minute of it. Out it comes to Gerard Healy. Here's a chance, Bernie Evans. Hooks it around the body. Paul Salmon underneath the ball. The siren's gone. The mark will not be paid. What a great spectacle here at Football Park. Victoria 16-12 have defeated South Australia 16-8. Yes, Peter Marker and Ian Day calling all the action from Football Park on May the 15th, back in 1984, back in the days of two umpires and also the 15-metre penalty. And uh, great to see Peter Motley in action there for South Australia. I know that the program is going right throughout South Australia and also Western Australia today, so Mots... If you're watching, we certainly wish you well. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to come back to some of the greatest marks you'll ever see. Oh, just a I tip 